Breaking news. Governor Wike drags federal government to court over 11 billion naira allocation to police. River State Governor Mr. Wingesom Wike has declared that the state will challenge in court the decision of the federal government to allocate the sum of 11 billion naira from the federal government account allocation committee to the Nigerian police without informing state government. The governor who said that yesterday at a conference press on COVID-19 in government house, Portacot noted that the federal government acting in illiterately rather than discuss with the state. He noted that since the said 11 billion naira was removed from the federal government account, which also becomes and belongs to River State, it would challenge the matter in the court to show that the state displeasure over the allocation. Based on this, the governor said that he had directed the state attorney general and commissioner for justice to drag the federal government to court, he said. Our lawyer will prepare our papers and we would go to the courts. Nobody says that you cannot support the police, but you must get the consent of the state before taking their money. I have told the chairman of Nigerian Governors, Governors Forum that River State will challenge this matter in court. You must let me know when you are taking my money. Wiki also said that the state rejected the palliative by the federal government because, according to the aim, the rice was contaminated and bad for consumption. The rice, as explained, and we cannot go to the cross, cannot go to Cross River to go and collect contaminated rice, he said, stressing that the state government would not accept such palliatives until beavers, farmer, and fishermen are patronized. He expressed regret that the federal government was here to support the river state government in the fight against coronavirus. The governor described as unfortunate the situation where the NCDC was yet to establish a laboratory in River State. He said, we are virtually fighting this battle without any tangible materials or support from the federal government. We are wondering, as most of you may also be, that up till now the NCDC has not established any testing center in the state in spite of our position, urge social economists and demographics demographics mix and eye transmission treats handling over over us as a result was this delib deliberate or not if not so why and what was the justification for this dangerous de ne neglect which is obviously limiting our capacity to expand testing for the virus in the state but for us as a government every single new infection of covid 19 in our state is one too many we shall therefore continue to take every necessary measures to control and possibly end the transmission of these diseases in river state in spite of enormous challenges and lack of concrete and lack of concrete support from the federal government. This, that is why we are taking those federal government to courts and nothing but courts. So viewers, I think with what Unisom has planned to do is very, 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 very much okay and I'm in support of that. The federal government has so 
stingy to the extent that they can't help people but they want to um gain from people imagine that one of these don't of the this are the this is one of the thing that made me like governor Unye Son Winke is boldness all that follows governor should eliminate uh, uh, governor should emulate governor Winke's character a lot of governors are always afraid because they they believe that if they say the truth they will be expelled or they will be sacked or they will be suspended that is not it if god if it's god that truly puts you in that position then i so i see no reason why you should be afraid of what a man man will do to you as long as it's god that made you that uh, person to lead that state or that country then i see no reason why he will not um, support you in any way or will make uh, whenever you're saying the truth about um, others. God that puts you in there will definitely support you. Every of their plans to remove you as the leader would definitely not work by the grace of Almighty God. But it's God that puts you there, so fear not. But what the federal government did was so so wrong imagine now we are in a federal system so wiki is right because the police is a tool for federal government against opponents imagine that can someone explain to me why the, uh, give me the reason for federal government to continue deaf ears over river state covid 19 demands river state have been demanding for the for the uh, for money to take care of those of this virus but the federal government have refused they have refused to to listen to their commands or their demands imagine that but they have the gods to collect money from oh, from river states and give to policemen Without informing the state government, is it, is it is it that is it right? Is that right? Governor Wiki said it yesterday at a conference, at a press conference, of COVID nineteen updates in government house. Portacourt that he noted he said that the federal government is acting like an illiterate. Instead of them to discuss with the states of taking this money they did not according to what Mickey said that he said that he did not say they should not give police these police people money but they would have informed him as the governor of the states that was a mistake they made that made that want to make Mickey want to drag federal government to court for taking 11 billion naira allocated allocation to policemen without informing him so viewers what do you think about this your comment is very needed drop them below the comment box click on the subscription button as well as the bell button 